The two greatest forces of computing are fear and love. Use that fear, wire it into your synapses and reboot it into love. Turn ones and zeros into sixes and nines. <laughs> oh yeah, I can feel it. Now, stick your thing in, flip it, and reverse it with love. <laughs> Whoa, oh shit, my water! <laughs> Wait, why is nothing else on my table falling? Oh, oh, because I love you so damn much! Next, Ashley and Marisha, change their positions with your romantic hacking! I'm sorry, Ashley and Marisha. I'm just, I'm still new at this. Now do Laura. <laughs> Wait, no. What if I hurt her? I'm scared. So harness that fear into your magnificent hacker deltoids and flex it to become love. I did it. I hacked it with the power of love. Wow, that was amazing. Yeah. Because I'm the only man you've ever loved, right? Uh huh. Oh. Wow. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> this, I mean. <laughs> what a what a bit. Look out, Academy. <laughs> Send the uh, trophy to the P.O.S. box. <laughs> Did you say the P.O.S. box? Oh, piece of shit box. <laughs> if there's an extra fold... <laughs> fold <laughs> taken. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, we're gonna die. The there are two more folds. <laughs> kind of near... yeah. That's you, right you around there. Here if you want. Was, yeah. Share my phone. Fold taken. Uh, <laughs> no, you go ahead. I can be anywhere, so. Uh, I'll go in that. Well, I'm gonna fucking rage for yes! starters. Have it a hoobada. Hoobada hoobada. Okay, so I'm gonna start making my way <laughs> over to <laughs> this bish. Almost a hermit. <laughs> I'm gonna spend one more key point to extort truth. Um, she has to make a charisma saving throw. That is going to be a 16. She fails. She had to make a 17. Okay. Then yeah. So, for one minute, Cree cannot deliberately tell a lie. We'll ask her questions in between popping her in the face. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if they come up, I guess. I don't know. There you What's go. your ATM pin? <laughs> <laughs> Kree, after like gets hit by you and knocks, gets knocked to one knee and sees that running is not an option. Fish. Takes the red cloak and <laughs> wraps it around herself to go ahead. Stay counter spell. Oh yeah, you're casting it at fifth level. No, then, oh, then, it, then it's gone. Her, that's right. Then you don't have to roll. The cloak wraps around and Kree <sighs> exhales as you see this flash of arcane energy come off of this cape and then dissipate. And Kree's just kind of looking forward, hollow and furious. Beauregard and Caleb, you hear Cree's voice. Oh my God, help me, please. That's all you hear. No, oh, shit! No, 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 no. Caleb just says, we need to pick up the pace right now. <laughs> all right, finishing, that's Cree's turn. <laughs> Don't pull him out. It's about to go very poorly in about. Jester, you're up. One. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Are we trying to kill her still? Yeah, just, I probably. I feel bad. What is this, emotion? Well, I don't know. End her! She, we, we can get information from her. I mean, I her. guess if you want to be like, who does Lucian work for? As you punch her, you <laughs> we, can. can. Kill her! Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do it. <laughs> this is life or, or death. Or do what you want. Okay. I'll kill her. <laughs> <laughs> I will just hit. I mean, I will hope I hit. Oh, no! 15! 15, 15 oh, no. misses. <laughs> Bonus action, fire again. Terrible! 17! Oh, no. 17 misses. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 no. I, the I, process I, of the moral I, quandary. Maybe a little intentional. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Where's there, where'd the question mark come from? <laughs> oh, okay. Don't let the question I mean, mark invade you. All right, I'm gonna take a swing. Oh, okay. Just over a new leaf, Yasha. Oh, don't, don't. Okay, okay, that definitely didn't cycles. hit. That's all that around her neck. We're going to die. We're going to die. She has a family. God. 
for all we know. Dang it. Bo and Caleb are about to get turned on. Yes, I'm serious. No! Uh, uh, that does, 18. 18 just misses. She donates no. most of her, Hold on. her profits no. to charity. 19. <gasps> 19 just hits. Yes! yes. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Ooh. What is it? I rolled all sixes, so Six. it's worse Six. than you think. It's I believe that's thirty-nine. Okay, okay. Is the total thirty-nine points of slashing damage, which, thanks to uh, Caduceus, becomes instead uh, seventy-eight oh! points that's of slashing damage. As she something. started to try to disappear, mm-hmm. um, I want to step on her cloak, yank her back, and. Pfft, so you yank her back and pull her onto your sword. Yeah. All right. Oh. As she goes to try and run and bolt, you just grab, yank it back, and pull her all the way to the hilt. The blade is now sticking fully <laughs> through Kree's chest. Sasha! Just coughs this big spatter of blood. You can feel the body going limp against the blade. It goes, Lucien. You both here in your mind. You've done well. But I need you to hold them off a little longer. I'm not done. I'm not ready yet. Become a vessel for the pattern and show them the way. In the darkness of this chamber, there's suddenly a dull red glow in your proximity as the five eyes that mark Kree's body begin to glow simultaneously. And you can see now Kree just shaking, convulsing, the eyes getting brighter and brighter until suddenly the back of her shoulders split. Bone and flesh begins to spit out and grow. This horrible, mangled version of what once was Cree is now this ever swelling monstrosity of flesh, teeth, and eyes. What? Oh. Part of the plan, not part of the plan, not part of the plan. Oh no. Oh! oh. oh. And it can't tell a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Would I be able to climb up my giant blue friend and get within touching range of this thing? Is it that high up, or is it out of, if I were to get to the top of her? If you were to get to the top of her, you could probably reach it. Yeah. You just have to climb your friend. Would that be my action? Uh, I would that, say it's... I don't know, look at that. Look Here's the Laura, thing. Matt. I don't know. She she was using her turn to pull it down as opposed yeah. to helping you up. Bonus action. At the start of your turn. Yep. At certain moments, there's like a blur or a flicker, something, elements that seem to fuzz, and you swear for a second you see symbols built into the body, like the flesh itself is is evoking something fractal in moments. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. 13. 13, all right. Continue with your turn. <laughs> oh, no. oh, by the way, make a wisdom saving throw for me. 25. 25, you're fine. Completely shook by this, I'm going to do a patient defense and just go on guard. Okay. You shake off the the patterns you're seeing, and you kind of huh. pull back, and they're weirdly familiar. From like shit that I've seen in dreams, and read in books, and read in books. That finishes your turn. All right, Caduceus, you're up. Uh, Unless you want to move. What books you be reading? I don't know. Tusk love Tusk gets weird love. at the end. <laughs> that, that weird <laughs> that weird Tusk shit. Yeah. Love. Chapter that... nine gets weird. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. That brings us to Caduceus. Am I still stuck in the goop? You still have uh, speed of zero, and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. All right, let's do this wisdom saving throw. Come on. Head tie off. Uh, 19. You can take attack if you want to. Ooh. Kill it, baby. Because he's looking real bad, yeah? Yeah. All right, yeah, fuck it. Let's go. 22? Pulled the ball yeah, that hits. Out of the pucker. Great. And circumstantially, we're never going to see the battlefield up there, and I'll show you the break. 14. 14 points of damage. Points of damage, great. And you take in reaction to that. It's okay. Uh, 14. Um, I will fire my crossbow bolt. <laughs> Go for an attack. 40. I want this Come over. On. 40 points of damage. Doubled to 80 because Ooh. of Caduceus. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Oh, we're in the midst of all this lava? Just as that is not lava. Flesh lava. The flesh is bits. lava. That's mm-hmm. goop. The flesh is lava is the worst game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the floor is lava is one thing. The when floor flesh. is flesh yeah. is yeah. fucking yeah. another. <laughs> Come home from elementary school, your mom's gonna wonder about what yeah. games you're playing. Indeed. The floor is flesh! 
What? <laughs> With that, Ward will say, <laughs> "Don't miss." <laughs> You're like the Bob's big uh, boy. Did you order? Yeah. Did you order a wizard, sir? Wizard? Yeah. Wizard? Stay <laughs> right there. Second thing I'm gonna do Ugh. is smash a bag of gold dust across it, and before it goes all the way in, cast immovable object on the gem. As all the tendrils tighten in pull, the <gasps> threshold crest becomes a fixed point in space. Oh! And you watch as, <laughs> as oh go to hell, dream people, and I will use my movement to turn and curl like a small baby monkey into the uh, grip of Mama Monkey. <laughs> Check okay. Tick. Uh, yeah, I start looking. Probably <laughs> <laughs> lots of ticks. <laughs> How long does that last? Pulling off his ear. One hour. <laughs> One hour. You've got it. <laughs> Make an investigation check. 23. You find within, and it'll just take you a little bit. Double dare. Yeah, it's, it's. <laughs> it, it, did you say double dare? Yeah, yeah. I just went, oh, gotta, gotta go up the nose, yeah. exactly. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, yes. you are, you are, you are reaching <laughs> through the, pe the people slurry oh. to find a, uh. Oh. Wow. People <laughs> Find the flag. <laughs> <laughs> Just Mark Summers could not deal it. with this. Nope. nope. Um, <laughs> sorry, Mark. How are your eyes, Bo? Normal? How are they? Seems normal. Though, as you hear Veth saying this, so. and you kind of look at yourself, and you're fine. You look up at Veth, and as Veth's kind of looking at you with intent, you see a red eye in the center of Veth's forehead. <gasps> no way. For real? Yeah. Why are you looking at me? Uh oh. What? Uh oh, look at look at Veth's forehead. We look uh, at Veth's forehead. You see one of the red oh. eyes of the Somnavum. Does anybody does anybody else have uh, one? I start looking, looking, looking. Yasha, looking. I lift up the back of Yasha's shirt. Look on her back. Yasha's I just fine. Get completely naked. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yasha's fine. You find in the center of the left palm a red eye. <sighs> I touch Veth's forehead. <gasps> I need you both to no. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ford now. <laughs> Why is everyone looking at me like? This? <laughs> 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 I hold Yasha and I walk uh, to yes to like I go assume, over here to the door. <laughs> I assume that I can target this thing with a blight spell, right? It's just yeah, closing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have like, like the like wrong palm. <laughs> like you're Ronin. Oh wow. <laughs> oh sorry. Yes. We've dabbled a bit in strange time. Are you suggesting? Can you freeze time? You experiment with some untested dunamancy shit that hasn't seen the light of day for two thousand years. Is that what you're suggesting? So we can sleep. That is precisely what I went into studying for, to be honest. But there was a, a device in Aeor that we had come across that you had utilized. Oh, the regeneration capsule. Do we still have that piece? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Be fully restored in a matter of minutes. Seconds, if successful. Oh my God! Wow. Or it could destroy and unravel time entirely in ways that we have not seen. But what yes. if it does go bad? Like, what, what does that mean? Yeah, I agree. Like, does that just get rid of this place? Like, would we all just disappear, or just like everything? <laughs> Answer that. Yeah. <laughs> time is free, though. I don't know. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I hope we all don't turn into st st dust. Is all I'm saying. Considering the options currently available, that actually seems like a relatively light way to go. I thought you were a clay. I don't know how to put this, but we are currently on what is possibly the universe's largest cadaver. This is what I was born to do: is put this thing fucking down. <laughs> Let's end this shit. Bro. Thank you. <laughs> wow, I said a lot of words. I'm hurting a, a curse word. That's the first time I've heard you use it. Me too. <laughs> this place is getting to me. Word of God, I said, fuck this up. Well, you wouldn't really be around to do anything after that. No, nope, wouldn't. but it just, my, my essence will haunt you. True enough. Guidance. And I would deserve it, like I deserve all the things that haunt me. Aww. Essence. Mm. Don't killer. offer me any of this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're a horrible person. Horrible. <laughs> and now that we've established it, let's help save the world. He sits and places the stone in the middle of it and then sits on one side of it and kind of 
gestures for you to get on the opposite end. What's your highest currently available spell slot? Fifth. It's going to take a roll from you in Essek, and you get to add five to that roll because that is the spell level spent on it. I'm going to roll it out front. Natural 20. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Plus two. Oh, <laughs> Plus eight, so that's a 30 from Essek. Oh my god. Dirty 24. Dirty 24. Oh, we're not gonna die. No. Uh, combined oh, combined 40 was my today. threshold on that. What would have happened if that? That's in this post campaign conversation. Oh my god. But for now, you don't know. <laughs> Essek twitches his arms around it and then draws his fingers in two different directions, and you see this kind of small tear in reality, a break in reality, if you will. You can see in a brief moment in this sliver hundreds of realities just brushing by at an endless speed. He begins to take and fold that tear around, almost like if, if the, the, the tear in space-time became a thread, and wrap it around this stone. And as soon as it begins to close on it, it shatters. For a brief moment, there is nothing. Then there's this rush of wind, and then your lungs hurt, and you exhale. And as you do, your vision comes back from darkness. It's like you've been holding your breath forever. And as you breathe in after the cough, your first like oh, breath, you feel refreshed. You feel like you had the best night's sleep of your life. Yeah, you get a long rest. Yeah! <laughs> Essek hands you the, the crossbow. It says, this is an Aorian security cannon. You're a mall cop now. <laughs> <laughs> What's in those Hollister bags? <laughs> <laughs> You could smell like three stores down. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you identify it. Oh I'm putting on a cape. Put it, wear the cape. What do you think? It's a little too flashy? I like it. I don't normally wear red. I no. have ideas. What are your ideas? Well, this is for later. For the two of us. This has nothing to do with Oh, you. those you're kind of ideas. You're gonna bone in Dimension Door or red? Oh. Oh. Mm. Who knows, what are we doing? <laughs> focus, Yasha. <laughs> I'm very focused. Get I just get really, little, I get a little turned when I'm focused. <laughs> I am going to go find a quiet corner and see if I can connect to the Cognosa and find Yusa. Bo, as a concept, disseminates, and you feel that tickle at each location where the eyes are. And for a moment, you are connected loosely to thousands of broken minds. It's like every nerve on your body begins to spark. You concentrate on Yusa, and you feel a familiar force, and you follow it. There's no sight involved here. You're not seeing, you're just part of the street. And for a brief moment, you want to just let it take over, to just find comfort in this cult. No, no, you push against it. And amongst the varying hollow bodies walking the streets, you see one of darker skin and light hair and elvish complexion. I just say, Yusa, Yusa, it's the Mighty Nine, we're here. You sense Yusa's attention turn, and in that moment, you sense something bright and red coming from elsewhere. I cut. Okay. You withdraw. You manage to maintain yourself through that, but maybe not enough to do so unnoticed. You traveled on the network of Cognos' consciousness, but something saw you. You got sliced. This is where the two stories come together. <laughs> Well, so we dovetail the two narratives yeah. finally at the end of the game. We've been working on this Black for, Widow. for years, guys. <laughs> Me and Sam played a long game. Uh, Caleb breathes the tunnel and just says, Nord, Nord, Nord. Yeah. Hello reforms into Leet. <laughs> what is your name? I am Gaudius. I want us to all come together. At Fastadan and Kolpasi. The only choice that we've ever consistently made is to, is to take care of our friends. So we go help him? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Moving. Yusa. It's me, it's Caleb. Where the face would be, you just see this open, vacuous hole. Ooh! Oh, that was a dark space. It just looks back at you. Can you hear me? Raise your hand if you understand me. There is no response. I reach my hands into his form. I banish him back to the material plane. 
there is a a sudden burst of life and movement from Yusa's somewhat spectral form. You can see the face of Yusa looking back at you through it into a smile and just says, thank you. And you watch as the spirit is lifted on the tether like a parachute cord and dragged away. Okay. Okay. He's free. Well, that's one good deed for the day. Okay. How many names really did you guys write down of the some of them so far? One, two, eight. seven, or eight? Four. I have eight. Yeah. Tamore, Alactus, yeah. Luctus, Ira, Ira, Miramis, Guardius, Fastidan, and Cole Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I wrote too. <laughs> I just oh, thought it. I didn't actually write it yeah. down to say it out loud. Four more eyes appear on your butt. <laughs> you. Concentrate and focus on the image and the sensation of the Ithacrux. And you all hear a strange sound. And the floor of the room next to you begins to curl open. Oh, and a oh. tunnel begins to reveal itself downward, <laughs> willed into existence. <gasps> okay, I love this place. That's really cool. <laughs> a voice immediately fills your minds. We are the Somnavum. The soul is consciousness. The soul should not be bound to a short-lived vessel. Dreams are the mind's discovering potential. And together, we, the Somnavum, have become dream. Every mind, every soul, deserves to know this joy, this endless understanding of purpose and meaning. We are a proto-realm, a new plane of existence about to be born. Aren't you missing one? Yes, our harbinger, the Nanagan. Won't you bring him to us? He was talking about ultimate power and, I don't know, maybe he's hiding because he wants more than what you offered. Echoing from elsewhere in the chamber. Well, I'm glad you came. <laughs> and on the opposite side of where you're standing, you see Lucy and a cluster of nine or 10 glowing into a charges, <gasps> all pooled into one pulsing pile. The Somnavan voice begins to echo through all of your minds <laughs> like a storm of lightning. Stop him, stop, stop, stop him. Lucien goes, enough of that! And he snaps his fingers and you watch as the flesh around him forms a chair behind him. A throne, if you will. And he leans into it. When I died, when I scattered, and they put me back together. I was given a view behind the curtain, and I saw the fallacy. I had given everything for genius souls, now mewling toddlers, bickering over the power of creation. Someone needed to be the parent, a responsible caretaker, and a show of discipline, enact punishment, and take the reins with force. I invite you to stay for the show, but I think you'd prefer to run. And he leans back and puts his hand on the devices as they begin to blink faster and faster. Oh, I'm going to say ahead. run, and I'm going to cast Earthquake right under him. You all begin to run. The ground <laughs> beginning to crack. Elements of the ceiling begin to crash down like it's trying to physically attack with the full flesh of Cognosa itself upon Lucian, who begins laughing. <laughs> A series of flashes behind you. You feel the flex and the scream of the entirety of Cognosa at once. As its nerve center, the Somnovum, are bombarded. And as you all fall to the ground, breathing, there's just quiet. No laughter, no sound. Just the eight of you. That's where we're in tonight's episode. Oh, fuck. 
What does what? it mean? What is How it does mean? he? <sighs> we are so fucked. It got real bad, oh, and then it got better, and now I can't tell if it's worse or not. I thought for a moment there we were going to be fighting Lucian and nine Ent yeah. entities. Yeah, 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 yeah. In yeah. like a lair action situation, and now I don't know where we are. Nine entities that don't like no, each other, no. and now we just have one that really likes themselves. And has everything we're standing on is trying to attack us. And I can't, I can't shake the fact that we're eight and Lucian makes nine. <laughs> this whole game is so this ridiculous. This whole fucking campaign is so patterns, it's fractals, ridiculous. Patterns, fractals, fractals, patterns, patterns. <laughs> <laughs>